So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing how to set up VS Code with Godot so that you can edit any of your scripts in an external program. Now, I really prefer using VS Code as it has a ton of benefits and in general, just like a ton of plugins that make my workflow faster. But I'll go over those later on in the video so that you can decide if it's right for you or if you prefer that or whatever. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously download VS Code. Now, I'm gonna leave a link in the description or the, the top comment or whatever, but just download for whatever operating system you're using and then obviously run the installer make sure you have the app actually on your computer and then we're going to want to go back into Godot and just head over to editor settings scroll down to text editor and then go to the external section and make sure advanced settings is checked and then you're going to get all these different properties for how to actually connect VS Code. So the first thing you wanna do is set your executable path. The path to my executable is in users, my username, app data, local programs, Microsoft VS Code, and then it's just called code.exe. So wherever you installed it, just make sure you select the executable file. And then for the executable flags, we're just gonna paste in this value. So I also put this in the description, so go copy it from there. Now, if you are using a different IDE like Atom or something, this is going to be a different line. So make sure to check out the documentation for your specific application. And then finally, I just wanna make sure that use external editor is checked. And now we'll have most of the Godot side of things set up. So after that, I'm gonna switch over to VS Code and yours is probably gonna look something like this, but what you wanna do is go over to the left-hand side and there's the extensions button. I'm gonna search for the Godot tools add-on and it's just gonna be this one right here. So with this selected, I'm going to click on the install button. But once this is installed, you wanna go over to the settings for the actual plugin. So you you want to click on this little gear icon and then go to settings. So first of all, if you are on Godot 3, you're going to want to set the path to your executable in this separate property right here. But since I'm on Godot 4, and most of you are probably also on Godot 4, you want to put the path to your Godot executable inside of this box right here. So after you've set the path, there's one more thing we have to change for it to actually work. So if you scroll down a bit, there's going to be the server port. And this number has to match a number inside of the Godot editor. And to actually find that number, we have to go into Godot and go back to editor settings. And then I wanna make sure I'm in the network section and just click on language server. And there's going to be this remote port number. Now yours may vary, but it's probably going to be this number right here. Either way, just copy the value that you have in Godot and switch back over to VS Code and make sure that it's pasted in here so that they have the same number. So once that's all set up, you can close out of settings and then you can switch back to Godot. Now, anytime you open a script through the Godot editor, it's going to basically open it through VS Code, which is very helpful. Now, obviously VS Code is like a full-blown IDE, so it's gonna be a lot more powerful than Godot and there are a ton of shortcuts that you're gonna to wanna to learn if you want to really speed up your development process. But in general, most of the shortcuts are the same because you know there's a standard in the world. Now, really quick, the pros and cons of using VS Code with Godot, the only really downsides I've found and something you might have to deal with, um, the first one is obviously we have this cool feature inside of the editor where if you drag a node into your script, you can hold control, drop it, and then it will make an on ready variable for that node reference. Now you obviously can't do this in VS Code because like if I drag from this window, um, I can't really put it on a different window. Even if I have two monitors, it just doesn't work. So that's just one slight downside, which I don't really find that irritating because I usually use export references anyways. And then the other big one that you're gonna to wanna to take note of is you have to save all of your scripts before you run your project because when you typically run your game in Godot, it will save everything and compile everything before it actually runs the project. That's not the case with VS Code. If I make changes to the file, so like, I don't know if I put some text up here, it's gonna show this yellow circle, which means that the file is not saved. And even if I just run the project, it's not actually gonna save that file. So I have to manually hit Control S to make sure it saves. Obviously it can't compile, so I'm getting a warning here, but you wanna make sure you're just saving everything um, before switching back to Godot. Now there is a plugin that I use to actually help with this. And it's this one right here. It's called Auto Save on Window Change. So whenever I switch back to Godot, it will just save all of my files, which I find really good 
um, when working with Godot. But then apart from that, those are really the only like downsides I've found with using VS Code. Now, obviously VS Code has like an insane amount of plugins. So you'll probably have a lot of fun looking through what plugins best fit your workflow. But in general, I just find it to be a lot more customizable than the Godot editor. And it's also a lot easier to switch themes. I can literally just hit Control K, Control T, and switch whatever theme I wanna use for the day, which I find uh, really fun and just gives it a more personalized and customizable feel. So those are my thoughts on using VS Code. Yeah, let me know your thoughts, if you prefer VS Code or not, in the comments below. Quick shout out to the current channel members. We have Pumamori and also Abdulahab. Ayub. If you want to become a member and help support the channel, the button is on the channel page or whatever. And I also have some more links on there if you're interested in joining the Discord server or checking out. I also do like one-on-one -on -one tutoring or whatever. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful and that you guys learned something new. Thank you for watching the video and make sure to subscribe for more Godot-related content. And I will see you guys in the next one.